like it, you know? Can I ask you um, a question real quick? Just fine. just with that, with, with not knowing, let's say Dane, a.k.a. the, the Black Knight, right? Um, me being unfamiliar with this character, and then them voicing Blade. Blade is out there. And then we get Harry Styles, and I'm going to call him a leprechaun, okay? The, these two uh, post credit scenes in The Eternals, I feel like have overpa uh, overpowered the impact of the movie The Eternals as far as characters are concerned. Because we left this movie more so, or I left this movie curious about the the post credit scenes and not even of what's to come with the eternal. So, is it safe to say that these last two scenes kind of overshadowed the rest of the movie? You know something, I feel like I can kind of lean on that side a little bit um because I think the first post credit scene was the one with uh, arrows, correct? Mm -hmm, Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, given, and we kind of, we talked about this a little bit earlier, that Eternals had a little bit more of like a dramatic feel. It was a little lighter on the comedy for sure. Um, and I think that was a little necessary just because of all the storytelling they had to do. So I feel like I get that aspect of it. But what then you then contrast that to that post credit scene with uh, Arrows. First of all, it's not just Arrows. It's freaking Harry Styles. Like you, like just the response you explained that you had in the theater is already changes the atmosphere of you know you watching this movie mm -hmm. in theaters along with that i feel like i i i would need to rewatch it again to tell you specifically but there was something about it um that shifted the tone to something that felt very guardians of the galaxy for me maybe it was the uh i was gonna say elf the uh <laughs> the, the, the internet is saying the the music was kind of like guardian-esque oh. Galaxy is very um, big on the music. So maybe it was that aspect and that component. Um, so I think that because of those things, I could I can definitely see that point and maybe lean a little bit on that where I think the post credit scenes uh, did take a little bit of the spotlight. Um, so I, I can see that point for sure.